new video. In the last video, I talked about words that indicate all. And in today's video, I want to go over words that mean a few or little. So in today's video, we'll talk about which words we have for this in Dutch and how we use them. Let's start off with the word weinig. The word weinig we can use with countable and with uncountable nouns, but also with verbs. Ik heb vandaag weinig tijd. I have a little time today. Ze hebben weinig stoelen. They have few chairs. Hij heeft weinig geslapen. He's slept little. This word we use in exactly the same way as we use veel. So you can just replace veel by weinig to mean a little or few. And I trust you won't have much trouble with this. So I'm moving on to the next word, which is wat. And you know the word wat, but in a different context. Yes, it means what. But when you use it with a noun or a verb, it can also mean a few, a little. So some examples are, hebben we nog wat melk? Do we still have some milk? Ze hebben wat vrienden uitgenodigd. They invited a few friends. Ik heb wat gelezen. I read a bit. But be careful because wat has another meaning. One that is very similar. It also means something. So we can replace iets by wat. So ik heb wat gelezen can also mean I read something. Ik heb wat gelezen over sterren. I read something about stars. Wat heb je vandaag gedaan? Ik heb wat geslapen en ik heb wat gelezen. Can mean, what have you done today? I slept a bit and then I read something. And in most cases, even if you misunderstand, it doesn't really matter much because I've read something or I've read a bit. They're not that different. There's not such a big difference between having read something or having read a bit. And speaking about a bit, a little bit in Dutch is een beetje. Now, what is the difference between weinig and een beetje? When you say weinig, you're focusing more on the negative. Whereas when you say een beetje, you're focusing on the positive. So when you tell somebody, ik heb weinig tijd, I have little time, you're saying, I'm too busy to talk to you, basically. But if you tell somebody, ik heb een beetje tijd, you have a little bit of time and you're willing to spend this with the other person, basically. Sorry, ik ben een beetje moe. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. We hebben gisteren een beetje gesport. We worked out a little yesterday. This is not for countable nouns. So let's see what we use for countable nouns. There are three words. Wait, this is two. This is three. There are three words that are basically interchangeable. Enkele, een paar, een aantal. And all three of these you can only use with countable nouns. Is there a difference between these three? No, but I would say maybe enkele is a bit more formal than the other two. But that's it. Heb je enkele minuten voor mij? Do you have a few minutes for me? We hebben een aantal problemen op het werk. We have a few problems at work. Ze hebben een paar nieuwe studenten gesproken. They talk to a few new students. And een paar can also mean what it sounds like in English, a pair. Ik heb een paar nieuwe schoenen. I have a pair of new shoes, not I have a few new shoes. Or actually, grammatically speaking, it could mean that, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So how do we say I bought a few new pairs of shoes? Ik heb een paar nieuwe paren schoenen gekocht. Een echt paar is a married couple. But don't pair things together in Dutch because when you use paar as a verb, paren, it means to breed. So be careful that this is actually the topic that you want to be talking about. Now there's one more word that we need to talk about today and that is sommige. This means some, but it is used differently from English. And therefore, it is also maybe the most difficult one of the words that I'm talking about today. We can't just say, ik heb sommige vrienden, I have some friends, that doesn't work. Why not? Because sommige is always meant to contrast with something else. Sommige van mijn vrienden komen uit Nederland en sommige van mijn vrienden komen uit Amerika. That's fine because you're contrasting two things. Some friends are from the Netherlands, others are from the United States. So sommige is never used when there's nothing to contrast with. Or at least it doesn't have to be in the sentence, but it will be implied. So when I say sommige mensen houden van reggae, I'm implying that others don't. So saying ik heb sommige appels is wrong, but you can say Ik heb sommige appels weggegooid. I threw out some apples. Because you're implying that you kept the others that were fine. And you just threw out the ones that weren't good anymore. 
So Somacha always talks about a limited number and you cannot use it for things in general. Let's see a few more examples. Ze eet op sommige dagen veel chocola. She eats a lot of chocolate on some days. In sommige landen is het normaal om vroeg te trouwen. In some countries it's normal to get married early in life. Sommige studenten hebben hun huiswerk gemaakt, andere niet. Some students made their homework, others didn't. Was this helpful? I do hope so. Please click like and subscribe uh, if you think you're interested in listening to the podcast, which is 100% in Dutch. Please check out the Dutch Day podcast on Spotify or Apple Music. If you have any questions or you want to try out some of these words yourself in sentences of your own, please leave anything in the comment section. That's it for today. Success met your study.